back to another episode of Demetra's Dishes where I teach you how to make easy and delicious recipes that are perfect for sharing with your loved ones. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a very easy Mediterranean chicken drumstick bake. It comes together in no time. You basically mix all the whole, the whole marinade together, pour it on top, mix everything all together and then you bake it for about 45 minutes. You're going to have dinner ready in under an hour. Who does not love the sound of that? Now I'm using chicken drumsticks but you can feel free to use whole cut up, uh, a whole chicken that's been cut into pieces or even uh, chicken thighs, which is my favorite. But this is what I have, so this is what I'm using. If you're using chicken breast, you're gonna have to cut, cook it much less because as we all know, chicken dries up if you cook it too long. The thing I love about chicken drumsticks is that they do stay juicy. They're gonna be juicy on the inside. Even if you overcook them a little bit, they still stay juicy, they're so forgiving. But these drumsticks today, they're going to be juicy on the inside and crisp on the outside. They're going to be oh so good. I'm going to serve them with a rice pilaf that's going to be flavored with a little bit of onion and cumin. The whole thing is going to be absolutely divine. We're going to begin with the marinade. So we're going to begin with the marinade and I'm going to begin by grating the garlic cloves. I have eight garlic cloves. There's a lot of chicken and garlic adds tons of flavor. So I'm going to grate these in this mixing bowl. And since we're using the zest and the juice of the lemon, we zest first and we juice later. So we're going to need about a quarter of this uh, lemon zest. It's a big lemon. And when you're zesting, make sure to get the yellow part, not the white part. The white part is super bitter. The yellow part is where all the flavor is. Get that into my mixing bowl. Now I'm going to juice this lemon. We need a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. I'm going to catch the seeds in my hand. And I'm going to add two, three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, about a quarter cup of olive oil, maybe a little bit more than that, and two tablespoons of honey. I'm going to whisk this all together. And I'm going to pour this on top of the chicken drumsticks. You want to make sure that the chicken drumsticks have been patted dry really well with some paper towels. Now I'm going to season them on both sides with some salt and black pepper. I'm going to get the other side in a little bit. And now I have the spice mix that where a lot of the flavor is going to come from. I have sumac over here, some oregano, this is dried oregano, this is sweet paprika, I have coriander powder, crushed red pepper flakes, and cumin powder. I'm just going to mix this all up with my hands and put it all over the top of the chicken. I'll save the other half for the back. I'm going to flip the chicken over, season it with salt and pepper, and put the remaining spices on top. Then I'm going to mix it all together so everything is well dispersed and incorporated. Now go ahead and peel a large onion. If your onion is really big like mine is, go ahead and cut it into half and then cut that half into slices of half moons. Take those slices and those layers and put them in between the chicken drumsticks and around the sides of the pan. If it's a small onion, you can just cut it into rounds and just tuck them in between the chicken drumsticks and around the pan. The oven is preheated to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. This is gonna bake for about 30 to 45 minutes or until the chicken is perfectly cooked. Then I'm gonna take it out of the oven and I'm gonna baste it with the juices that have gathered on the bottom. Then I'm gonna put it back in the oven under the broiler. I'm gonna make sure the broiler setting is on and I'm gonna let it broil until the skin is nice and crispy. You do not wanna step away at this point. It's gonna take about five minutes or so. It might take longer, it might be quicker. As soon as you see the skin crisp up and become beautifully golden, you can take it out. So while the chicken drumsticks are cooking, we can get the rice ready in the same amount of time. I've soaked three cups of basmati rice in water. I rinsed it out a few times. I changed out the water about four or five times. You do that until the water runs clear and then you let it soak in the cold water basically until the onions cook. I'm using my rice cooker to do this. I will link down below uh, in, in my Amazon shop where you can buy this. It is a lifesaver. I have gotten so used to using it. I make rice in this all the time. Of course, if you don't have one and you don't plan on buying one, you could do this all in a pot. 
in the same steps that I'm doing, except you're not gonna be pressing buttons. So I finally chopped a large onion and I put it in the rice cooker with about a quarter cup of olive oil. You can put a little bit more if you want. And then I set it to the flash rice setting. I'm gonna press that button a few times during the, the cooking process of the onions because I want it to maintain that high temperature. So in between, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off and press flash rice again. And I'm gonna let the onions cook for about 10, 15 minutes or until they're nice and soft and golden. I also season them with, with a little bit of salt. Once the onions are nice and soft and golden, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of cumin seeds to them and a teaspoon of garlic powder. You can grate two garlic cloves if you want instead of the garlic powder. Mix it all up once it warms through. Then you wanna drain the water out of the rice, add the rice to the rice cooker, and then go ahead and add three teaspoons of salt and three cups of water. Mix it all up. Turn the rice cooker off, then turn it back on and set it on the rice setting and then just let it go. Once it's ready, it's gonna beep. Then you could fluff up the rice and your rice peel off with cumin seeds will be ready in just in no time. So the chicken and the rice are ready simultaneously at the same time. I let it broil under the broiler for about five minutes until it got really nice and crisp on the outside. Time to take a bite. Now I also did sprinkle some, um, what is it called? I also did sprinkle some chopped parsley on top. I put some on top of the rice and on top of the chicken, just, just because it adds a beautiful fresh pop of color. Serve this with a lemon wedge, some tzatziki sauce maybe, a nice salad with bell peppers, onions, tomatoes, whatever you want, and serve this to your family. It's an easy, economical, and delicious meal that comes together in, in under an hour. Who doesn't love that? Time to take a bite. Mmm. That chicken has so much flavor. It's just a little hint of sweetness from the honey in there and the balsamic vinegar. The skin got super crispy. It's still juicy on the inside. That rice is nice and fluffy and aromatic. The combination is just perfect, you guys. I hope you enjoy it. The recipe is underneath in the description box down below as well as on the website www.dimitrisdishes.com. I wanna let you know that my brunch table is on sale for 50% off. For now, from now all the way up until Mother's Day, so go on over to the website and grab a copy. And don't forget to subscribe so that way you don't miss any more recipes. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.